Hi everyone, I'm here to cheer you up this fine weekend by talking to you about domestic violence, as if the pandemic weren't bad enough, right? But the truth is, there has been a spike in the cases reported of domestic violence and uh, it is a major cause for concern. Now, one thing I've noticed is that a lot of people are asking, so why didn't these women just leave these toxic relationships? Uh, haven't they seen tapad? All it takes is uh, sif ek tapad, right? So why do they stay if it means risking death and possibly worse? Now, all I can say is that uh, if you're not at the receiving end of violence, it all seems so simple. But naturally, it isn't that easy. And uh, let's talk about women who have walked away from messed up relationships. Divorces are common now, but it's even more common to blame women if things don't work out. Everybody believes that uh, marriage, a happy one, is the foundation on which society itself is built. So when things fall apart, uh, it is very, very common to accuse women of messing up. And... Um, of course, it's fashionable to blame the feminists for everything. So you hear things like, uh, why can't these women just suck it up? Don't they know that to spare the rod is to spoil the wife? And then they will compare you unfavorably to women from the past. They will say, uh, in the good old days, there were women like Arundhati, Sita, Kannagi, who loved their husbands, no matter the cost, who were always supportive. And uh, they'll say, don't the feminists know that kalla nalum purushen, manna nalum purushen, which means stone or sand, the husband is the husband. So when we still have uh, regressive attitudes like this, it is, uh, you know, kind of ridiculous to assume that uh, women will have what it takes to deal with uh, challenging relationships uh, that are detrimental to their well-being. What victims need is concern, compassion and all the support in the world. What they do not need is criticism and censure in the name of culture. I have written about this in my column for the New Indian Express. Please do check it out and uh, I would love to hear your thoughts on this subject. Thanks so much.